Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Taylor. Please subscribe and join me on my journey. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications and follow me on social media to keep up with me on a daily basis. We're just gonna drink some water. I've been trying to be more conscious of the natural sugar that I'm consuming. So as you guys know, I gave up processed foods like over a year ago. So I don't consume any refined sugar or processed food, but it is super easy to consume too much natural sugar. Looking for alternatives to snack on or like, you know, when I get a sugar craving and I wanted to bake some things, but not really bake because it takes too long and it's way too much work. So I came across making these little cookie dough balls and they're so simple. They're right up my alley, literally five ingredients and they take less than five minutes to make and I'm going to show you how to make them. Five ingredients are, this is full fat coconut milk. You could definitely use almond milk if you wanted to, if you don't like the taste of coconut. You need 100% pure maple syrup. This is the only sweetener in the actual cookie dough ball. So it is again, paleo and vegan. Pure vanilla extract. Next ingredient you need is almond flour. So this is gonna kind of bind the cookie dough balls together. And then lastly, you need the chocolate chips. So the first time I made these, I made them with Lily's Stevia sweetened chocolate chips, which kind of made the cookie dough balls a little sweet. This time I'm using 100% cacao chocolate chips, so no sweetener or anything in them at all. So I'm excited to try them this way. So the first thing you need is one cup of almond flour. I'm using a half a cup measure because it's just easier to fit inside of here. So I just put one cup of almond flour in, in my bowl. And the next thing I'm gonna do is two tablespoons of the full fat coconut milk. Two tablespoons of the pure maple syrup. The last ingredient is one teaspoon of vanilla. Once you have all of your ingredients, you're just gonna mix. Seriously, so simple. You're gonna think it's a lot of almond flour, but it really does absorb nicely, so you'll be totally fine. So the last ingredient is your chocolate chips. So like I said, I'm using Pasha Organic 100% cacao unsweetened chocolate chips. You just need a quarter cup of these. And then you're just gonna fold the chocolate chips in. If you want them to have more chocolate chips, it's your world. You see that my dough is nice and mixed. Take a little bit and make little balls. So the recipe doesn't call for this. The recipe calls to just refrigerate them, but after a couple times making them, I realized that I like them better frozen, so it's totally up to you. You can, you can refrigerate them if you like them a little softer. I like them a little harder, so I put them in the freezer and they're seriously so good. When you're done, you could also top them with a little, little sea salt, like I said, if you like that sweet and salty mix. It's just so simple. Five ingredients, five minutes. You have a snack or a dessert when you're craving something delicious and easy. That's it for my little paleo vegan cookie dough balls. I don't like cooking, um, I don't like baking, it's way too much work, but I'm super into recipes like this and these are the type of things that I really do make all the time. So. If you want more recipes like this and you like videos like this, let me know, leave a comment below. If you liked today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back with more videos and cookie balls.